Welcome to your yoga practice. Thank you for being here. Please take a moment, just kind of look around, make sure you've set up your space. So for this next 40 minutes or so, you can just focus on you. You will need some supplies. So along with your mat, you're going to want a, a yoga block or a small pillow. And then you're going to want something you can squish behind your back. We're going to do a little bit of core work today. So that could be a small stability ball, or it could be a stack of blankets, like two pillows or a pillow and a blanket. Or sometimes I even use like a foam roller just to kind of, you know, just stuff that you can kind of wedge behind you as we do core work. So make sure you grab that. Prepare your space. Do, do, do. And then grab your yoga block and lay down on your back. That's where we're going to start today. So you can kind of put everything else aside and then find your way onto your back. Make sure you have your yoga block or your pillow nearby. And once you lay down on your back, give your knees a hug. Rock side to side. So you're massaging your lower back on the floor. Lengthen the back of your neck. Relax your shoulders down. Take a big breath into a soft belly. Let a big open mouth exhale out. And do another one like that. Inhale until your abdomen is completely full with air. Your ribs are expanded. And then exhale Open mouth exhale, releasing the tension, releasing the day, and just allowing yourself to arrive. Put your feet on the floor with the knees bent. Open your arms out like airplane wings. Let's make sure that the feet are a little wider than the hips. And then windshield wipers, knees fall to the right. Bring them back to center. And then over to the left. And just play with this windshield wiper movement with the knees a few times. And then can you connect the movement with your breath? So can you inhale as the knees are to the side and then exhale, feel the core drawing in and bring the knees back to center. So it's an inhale, knees to the side, exhale, bring it back to center and do that a few times. And give yourself permission to make some noise with your breath. An audible exhale is one of the most effective ways to connect with our inner core, our deep core. And we're going to do one more windshield wiper each side. Just open up the hips. And then bring your knees back to center. Hug your right knee into your chest and extend your left leg straight onto the mat. Now here, as I hold onto my right leg, I like to uh, organize my ribs down, lengthen the back of my neck a little bit. Just kind of take a second to, okay, get really long. Let the spine lengthen and settle into the floor. Actively press the left leg down and then take a big breath. As you exhale, Draw your tummy in and then curl your head and shoulders up like you're trying to kiss your right knee. And then release your head and shoulders down. And we're going to do that again. So inhale, head and shoulders are down. Exhale, make a little sound with it. <sighs> Pull your tummy in and then curl head and shoulders up. Keep your shoulders down. Hug the elbows in a little bit. Let's do it one more time. Head and shoulders go down. You inhale, you feel the length. You exhale, tummy draws in. And then you use that engagement of your core to help you curl head and shoulders up. Go ahead and release head and shoulders down. Pull your left knee in. Switch legs. Take a moment to really stretch that right leg away. Press that right leg down. Lengthen the back of the neck. Organize the ribs down. Remember, the way you breathe matters. It matters for your nervous system. It matters for connection to your muscles. So take a big breath, exhale, core draws in, feel the activation, then curl head and shoulders up. And then we do it two more times. Slowly lower head and shoulders, keep those shoulders down, exhale, curl it up. Keep your right leg pushing into, down into the floor. So that right leg stays active the whole time you're reaching through your heel. We'll do it one more time. Big breath, exhale, feel the core, curl it up. Beautiful. 
Release head and shoulders down. Let's bend both of our knees, feet on the floor. Reach over, grab your yoga block or your small pillow and put it in between your thighs. Arms are reaching down by your sides. Make sure your heels are about hip distance apart. Wiggle the toes. Feel your feet on the floor. Just take a moment. Feel the balls of the feet, the heels. Wiggle the toes. And then press those hips up for bridge. Setu Bandhasana. Roll the shoulders underneath you. Lengthen the back of your neck. Press into the pinky sides of your arms. That's going to help expand your chest open towards your chin. Breathe into your rib cage. Exhale, tummy draws down as you tuck your tailbone and lift your hips up. Inner thighs are gently hugging your block or your pillow. Bridge is an important pose because it really highlights any imbalances in our body. So I want you to notice, are you, are you tending to overdo it? Is there anywhere where you're clenching or you're gripping? Can you soften those areas? Maybe you back off a little bit. Can you draw your core in just as much as you feel your legs working to press your hips up? Is your right leg and your left leg working together? Are your arms working too to help? Lengthen the back of the neck. Let's take one more big breath. Go ahead and lift your heels and roll your spine down. Get the back of the ribs down first. Tuck your tailbone and roll through your lower back. Ooh. Let those hips settle into the floor. Close your eyes and take a big breath. Inhale down into the abdomen, into the rib cage. Exhale, make a little sound with it. Soften the shoulders, relax your jaw. We're going to do it again. When you're ready, press into your feet, lift your hips up for bridge. Take a moment to organize. What is the relationship of your rib cage to your pelvis? Make sure the front of the ribs aren't flaring open. Soften the front of the ribs down. So there's this straight line from your chest to your knees, or at least from your rib cage to your knees. Hug those inner thighs, use your arms. And can you soften your face? Channel your energy, direct your energy into the body, into how you are breathing, how you are connecting. One more big breath, lift your heels up. On an exhale, go ahead and roll it down. Get the back of the ribs down first, roll through the lower back. Whew. Soften your eyes, relax your jaw, take another breath. We're going to do bridge one more time, my friends. So feel your feet. When you're ready, lift those hips up. Close your eyes for this round. Because it's not about what you see. It's really about what you feel. This yoga practice today, this is about connecting to your, your inner awareness. And using that awareness as a superpower. I noticing when I, I tend to grip or clench or noticing when I forget to breathe. One more big breath, lift your heels, get those hips up a little more. Exhale, roll it down. Remove your yoga block and hug your knees into your chest. Gently give yourself a hug. Rock a little side to side. Open your right arm out to your right side. Let the knees go over to the left. As you twist the legs here, we want to make sure that the right hip isn't hiking up into the right rib. So let the right hip lengthen down, soften the right shoulder. Look over that right shoulder. Take a big breath into your lower back. And a big open mouth exhale. Soften your eyes. Wherever your mental energy is running to, I want you to bring it back. Bring it right here. This body, this breath. Exhale, bring your knees back to center. Give them a hug. Reset your spine. And then knees go right. Left arm is out. You're looking over left shoulder. Oh. When we twist our body, we want to make sure that we're twisting with length. Length through the waist, length through the lower back, length through the back of the neck. Big breath in, big breath out. One more. Remember, how you breathe matters. Use this yoga practice to connect, to activate, 
Bring those knees back to center. Place your feet on the floor. Reach over, grab your yoga block or your pillow and put it underneath your head. So we're creating a little pillow. We're elevating the head a little bit. Okay, now you're gonna make an L shape with your index fingers and your thumbs, and you're gonna place them on your torso. So your thumbs land on your lower ribs. Your index fingers are somewhere kind of at the front of the hip bones there. All right, now take a big breath. Exhale, make some sound with it and draw your abs in. We wanna stamp the lower back into the floor and you're gonna feel your tailbone tuck up a little bit. And you're gonna notice how those ribs, the front of the ribs and the front of the hips kind of draw towards each other just slightly. And everything in between is drawing down, stamping down to the floor. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Now, since the abs, we're holding the abs tight, I need you to practice breathing into your ribs. Can you breathe down into the back of the rib cage? Yeah, make some sound with it. Exhale, can you pull your tummy tighter? Can you stamp your lower back down even more? Now try to relax your legs. Don't clench your butt cheeks. We just want those abs tight. Okay, release your abs. Take a big, full belly breath in. Now you can do that big yoga breath. So you let your belly fill up like a big balloon. And then exhale, the belly draws in. Now we're going to do it again. So hands on the torso, stamp the lower back down. Feel those abs get nice and tight. Now, the way this feels was we connect to the deep core. Like if you do a fake cough, <laughs> right? Pelvic floor muscles draw, drawing in, abs drawing in. Inhale, rib cage. Relax the outer edges of the glutes and the shoulders. Keep those abs tight. And then we're going to release it. Inhale, big, full belly breath. Oh, soft belly, soft belly. Now we're going to hold this next one. Exhale, abs draw in. Shh. Make some sound with it. Organize the ribs down. Abs are tight. Inhale, rib cage. Exhale, abs tight. Lift one leg up in a tabletop and then the other. Whew. So definitely holding our legs up is adding a little bit more resistance to our core. But the goal is to draw the tummy in, to draw the belly button towards the spine, not to push those abs out. That's the plan here. So feel the breath, inhale rib cage, exhale tummy has to stay tight here. Flex your toes up to the sky and start to ride an imaginary bicycle. Now you're riding this bicycle uphill. And so you're pushing and pulling like slow motion each pedal. The priority is those abs drawing down, Ooh, abs in. <laughs> Relax the shoulders, sometimes that fake cough really helps. And I'm telling you, even making some sound like a huh, huh, or something like that is really helpful for keeping those abs in. Uh, huh. You know, the sound effects are very, very helpful when it comes to yoga. Okay, let's reverse. Let's go the other way. Slow pedal of the heels. And it doesn't have to be big pedals, right? They could be really tiny. Whatever helps you keep your core drawing in instead of pushing out. Five, huh, four, three two and one release your feet down hand on your belly give yourself a big belly breath my friends and a big open mouth exhale all right we can't hold the abs tight all the time and right, so we got to practice using our abdomen to breathe too one more time big breath <sighs> all right we're going to roll over onto our side so you're going to pick a side any side so laying on our side, we're going to put our block or our pillow in between our thighs. So if you need to arrange your space or something like that, please do. Now, when you're on your side, I want you to lift your lower rib up off the mat. Top arm reaches out in front of you. Your hips are vertically stacked and the knees can be kind of in front. Yeah, let's just find that. Perfect. Now, top arm, you're going to reach it up and look up. You're really reaching for the ceiling here. Eyes are on your thumb as you twist it open spiral through the ribs get that shoulder on the ground behind you take a big breath here exhale draw your core in and then bring it back draw a big rainbow in the sky so you're trying to reach up and then make your way over yeah let's do that again eyes on your thumb inhale reach up look up shoulders out of the ears exhale to twist from your rib cage try to get your shoulder on the ground first and then the rest of the arm take a big breath Exhale, feel the core hugging in. That is your cue to now bring that arm back. 
draw that big rainbow in the sky. Remember, how you breathe matters. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach up, look up. Rotation is happening from the rib cage, and the shoulder and your arm just follow. And this is way, this way we get good thoracic spine mobility through this exercise. Big breath. Exhale, hug your thighs together, pull your abs in, and you bring it all the way back. Whew. Okay, go ahead and roll over onto your belly, please. You can put your pillow or yoga block off to the side for a second. You don't need it here. Slide your hands under your shoulders. Take a second to tuck your tailbone, separate the legs so that you get your pubic bone, which is the front of your pelvis to anchor into the mat. Take a big breath. As you exhale, pull your belly button up and in. And then push into your hands and lift your chest off the floor for cobra. Now, oftentimes when we start to lift the chest here, we got to readjust the lower body. We got to make sure that the tailbone is tucking down towards the heels so our lower back stays nice and long. Nice. Now, can you use less of your arms and more of your back muscles to lift your heart? Pull those shoulders back. Your chin is down. You're looking at the floor. Press your toenails down, please. Lift your kneecaps. Press the front of the hips down. Now, if you feel really strong here, I want you to lift your hands off the floor and then reach your arms back. Fingertips reaching for the sides of your knees. Beautiful. Take a breath. Exhale. Press the toenails down. Press the front of the hips down. Widen the collarbones. Spread the fingers. Relax your face. Turn your head to the right like you're spilling sand out of your left ear. Whew. Big breath. And then turn your head to the left like you're spilling sand out of your right ear. Whew. Bring your head back to center. We got one more breath. Be brave. Call on that courage. Let your heart be open. And then release it down. Whew. Slide your hands under your shoulders. Actually, take your elbows to the floor under your shoulders. So we're on, on our forearms. Yeah. Strong forearms. Make sure you're pressing from your pinky fingers up to your elbows. Shoulders are back. Take a big breath. Exhale. You're going to draw your belly up and in and lift your hips. Ooh. But I want you to feel the front of your tummy lifting up to meet your spine. Okay. Release your hips and your belly back down. Whew. We're going to do it again. So strong forearms, please. Shoulders back. Take a breath. Exhale, make some sound, ha, or sh whatever you need to do, but pull the belly button in and lift up for this modified forearm plank. Hold it here, breathe into the rib cage. Exhale, release the hips and the belly back down. Keep your shoulders stable, smiling collarbone the whole time. One more time, big breath. Exhale, belly lifts up off the floor. It's like there's an ice pick coming up off the ground. You got to pull those abs away. Yep, pull those abs in, shoulders back, breathe. If you want to make it more challenging, you can always tuck the toes, lift the knees, make a full forearm plank. We're here for five, four, pull the tummy in, three, two, and then army crawl the forearms back. Let's take a child's pose. <clears throat> Whew. Now, if child's pose isn't feeling good for you today, you could always modify and take a down dog. Sometimes that feels better on the knees. Wherever you choose to be, take a big breath, please. Let out a big open mouth exhale, a sigh. Make some sound with it. <sighs> One more, big breath. And a big exhale. All right, we're going to come on up and we're going to find our way laying on our opposite side. So we're going to do that twist again, just other side. So however you need to roll around or arrange your space to make that happen. We're going to put our block or our pillow in between our thighs. Lift the lower rib, and I want you to take a breath. Big inhale through your nose the best that you can. Control your exhale. So either exhale through an imaginary straw or like you're fogging up a mirror. Ha! Ah, whatever kind of sound you need to make, but we feel the engagement through the core. Ready? Let's do our twist. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, spiral the ribs open. Get the shoulder on the ground first, and then the rest of the arm will follow. Take a breath. Exhale, connect with the core and bring it back. You got two more like that. Following your breath. And I invite you to 
call on some curiosity with your movements, with how you're breathing. Instead of just going through the motions, get really curious. Can you feel the air against your fingertips as you draw the rainbow in the sky? Are you really moving with the breath, allowing the breath to conduct the movement? Are you feeling the, the rotation occurring from your rib cage? One more time, finish this last one. Can you feel your inner thighs hugging your yoga block or your pillow? All these different pieces all connecting into this one moment. All right, go ahead and lay on your belly. You can move your pillow or your yoga block off to the side, hands under your shoulders. We are gonna do the same exact exercises that we just did. We're just gonna repeat the same ones. So that way you don't have to look at me so much and you can just focus on your body. So we're gonna start with Cobra, hands under the shoulders, tuck the tail, separate the legs. I really like to organize my pelvis. So I tuck my tailbone down. I draw my tummy in, sides of the waist drawing in, and then I lift my chest. Now, if you have an up dog in your practice that you would like to take here, you can absolutely take that up dog. So if you have a more challenging uh, pose, you can take that up dog. Just make sure the shoulders stay back. Chin is down. Press those toenails down, my friends. Now, if you feel good, maybe arms reach back. If you're in that cobra, if you're an up dog, you can't really reach those arms back. So just find your level here. Now, I, I don't want you to force anything. That's never what I'm asking you. I am just asking you to find your appropriate edge. To find the shape where you're like, oh, wow, I'm feeling things activate. Okay. But where you can still breathe. <laughs> We don't want to push so hard where we start to hold our breath. We want to be able to stay an active participant in the experience. One more big breath here. And then release it down. Whew. Forearms slide up underneath those shoulders. Strong forearms pressing pinkies all the way to elbows. Shoulders pull back. Now here, before we draw the belly in and lift the hips, keep the forearms pressing into the floor. But I want you to drop the chest down. So I want you to notice what that feels like, how you drop. Okay. We do not want to be here. Not at all. Not during this whole exercise. So I want you to really push, push into your forearms. Yeah. Hug those elbows in a little bit. Now you're going to hold the arms like this the whole time. We got three of these. Take a big breath. Exhale, belly draws in as you lift the hips, modified forearm plank. So we're feeling the front of the belly draw up to meet the back. Nice. Hold it. Relax your face, your jaw. The arms are still strong. On an exhale, lower the hips and lower the belly back down. But we're not dumping the shoulders. We're going to keep the collarbones smiling the whole time. And one more time. Take a breath. Exhale. We ah, draw those abs in and lift. Strong forearms. Can you reach your chest forward? Can you look forward? Pull the belly button in. Slowly lower the hips down. We got one more. I know I said one more. Last one on the... Last one. This is the last one, I promise. Take a big breath. Exhale. Here we go. Hold that forearm plank. If you want to take it further, full forearm plank, you can. Pull those abs in. Press strong into the arms. Everything comes from a strong center. That Manipura Chakra, the center of personal power, perseverance, determination, discipline, right? It all comes from your core strength. One more big breath. And then child's pose or down dog, whatever you prefer. Oh, relax your head. You don't need to look at me. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Soften your face. Try to release any labels of good or bad or right or wrong. And just stay in the open expansiveness of awareness. No judgment, no agenda, just a breath. Just curiosity right here in this moment. Slowly come up. And we are going to find a seated position. Whew. 
We got one more little core exercise and then we lay down and we stretch it out. Now for this core exercise, grab either your st small stability ball or you're gonna make a similar kind of thing using pillows or blankets or both. So right, it, you know, if I didn't have my small stability ball, I would probably fold up a blanket and use a pillow. I would use both, okay? That, was, that would be what I would use so that I can really, right? We're gonna wedge it behind our backs. If you have a small stability ball like this, this works really well too. All right, so you gotta find your objects, wedge them behind your lower back. It's more of your, the back of your hips, your sacrum. So you gotta wedge them in, shove those blankets in there. If you need an extra pillow, grab an extra pillow. What I don't want, I don't want you to be leaning back and like laying down. That's not what we want here. So we need to get enough back there. You know, grab the couch cushion, whatever you need to do. The good thing about these small stability balls is they don't move, whereas pillows sometimes slide. So you just have to, you know, wedge it in there. Okay. Everybody got their thing? Arms out in front, grab an imaginary pole between your hands, bend your pole in half. So we're gonna feel those elbows hugging a little bit. Now you're gonna breathe into your rib cage here. A active exhale as you pull your tummy in, and then you're gonna try to squish your ball. You don't have to go back very far. I barely moved, but I am feeling my core drawing in. Now shoulders are down. You're bending your imaginary pole in half, pulling your tummy in. Now, if you get back here and you need to wedge your blankets a little more, you might need to adjust, that's okay. Take a big breath here. Exhale, draw your tummy in, draw it in, draw it in. Now try to inflate your ball. Ooh. So abs are still tight, but instead of pressing into the ball, we're now holding ourselves just right off of it. Take a breath. Exhale, try to squish your ball. <sighs> now, if your hip flexors are bothering you, try extending the legs. Shake out those legs a little bit. Keep that power in your core. Big breath, exhale, inflate your ball. <sighs> Ooh, we're gonna do one more of each, guys. Big breath. Exhale, squish the ball. Use your abs, not your face, not your shoulders. Take a breath. Exhale, abs in, inflate the ball. Ooh. All right, go ahead and release. You could take a forward fold here, shake it out a little bit. Take a big breath. Ooh. Go ahead and roll it up, sit it up. We are going to do that same thing one more time. So arms out in front, grab your pole, bend it in half. Take a big breath. Make sure you got your pillows or your ball wedged behind you. Exhale, squish your ball. Abs are tight. We wanna train the core to draw in, not push out. Inhale into the ribs. There's plenty of space there. Exhale, the tummy stays tight. The front needs to stay tight. Okay, on your next exhale, go ahead and inflate your ball. Soften your face, take a breath, stay focused. Exhale, squish your ball. Now this time you're gonna squish your ball with your right arm. You're gonna draw a circle, circle up, back, down, and around. Abs are tight. Let's do the same thing with the left arm. Circle up, back, down, and around. Right arm. Inhale for the first half of the circle. Exhale to finish the circle, abs in. Left arm, big circle. Both arms come forward. Inhale, rib cage. Exhale, inflate your ball, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You can do this. Build endurance. Draw those abs in. Do a little, <laughs> draw it in. Smile the collarbones. Three, two, one, and sit up. Whew. Take a big belly breath. Let a big exhale out. Okay. You can grab your ball or your yoga block or your pillow. We're going to put something in between the thighs. So give the legs something to hold on to. And then scoot forward on your mat a little bit so you have a nice runway happening behind you. All right, hug those, <laughs> hug those thighs together, arms forward, bend that pole in half, take a big breath. Exhale, scoop the tailbone underneath you and start to roll back a little bit. You don't have to go far, just tuck that tail, hug those thighs together, roll back, abs are drawing in. Nice, now breathe into the ribs. Exhale, see if you can roll back a little bit more. Now hold it, hold it. You don't have to be far. You don't have to go very far, but I do want you to keep the abs drawing in. Shoulders down, breathe into the ribs, squeeze those inner thighs. Exhale, roll back a tiny bit more. Nice, hold it, hold it. Big breath. 
And now we're going to roll all the way down. And if you want to use an elbow to help you get down there, you can use an elbow. Oh. Once you lay on your mat, reach your arms over your head, rotate your wrists and your ankles. And take a big inhale and let out a big exhale. Just take it a second here. Let your body be nice and long. Mm. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. You can remove your ball or your block off to the side. Rock side to side. Lengthen the back of the neck. And we're going to take a figure four stretch. So crossing right ankle on top of left thigh and opening that right knee away from you. Now you could stay here. Make sure your right ankle is past your left thigh. Or you could reach through the hole and grab onto that left leg. So you're in charge of intensity. Take a breath. Slow down your exhale. Soften your eyes, relax your jaw. After all of that effort, that activation, we're, we're going to balance it by slowing down, cooling down, down-regulating the nervous system. Soften your eyes, relax your jaw. Now, if you have a hold of your left leg, let's release the left knee and put the left foot on the floor. We're going to stay in figure four. So I still have right ankle crossed on top of left thigh. But you're going to let your legs fall over to the right. So the weight of my right ankle is guiding my left knee down. Now, there's different degrees that you can be here. Now, if this is too intense, uncross that right ankle and just let those legs fall over. If you want more, cross your right leg over your left thigh a little bit more. Reach your left arm up and look over your left shoulder. Feel the stretch from that left hip up through that left armpit. And take a big breath. Slow down your exhale. And right now as you breathe, let the breath get down into a soft abdomen. As you inhale, the abdomen inflates with air. As you exhale, the abdomen deflates. Get curious about how the breath moves through your body. And if the mind wanders, just notice, oh, I just started thinking about dinner or whatever else you're thinking about. And Guide yourself back to how you are breathing. Can you deepen your inhale and can you lengthen your exhale? We're going to uncross that right leg, slowly bring the knees back to center and give the knees a hug. All day, our minds are planning and solving and doing all the things. But right now, we're trying to get out of our minds and come to our senses. How do you feel? Okay, figure four, other side, left ankle on top of right thigh. Lock out that left ankle, open the left knee away. You are in charge of intensity, whatever variation you'd like to take here. Come back to the breath. Slow down the exhale. Guide all that mental energy. Channel it back into the body. By focusing on how you are breathing. Can you inhale all the way to the top until your lungs and your abdomen are completely full? 
And then can you exhale until your lungs are completely empty? How long and slow can you breathe? If you have a hold of your right foot, let's put our right foot down. Keep the left ankle crossed on top. Knees and legs fall over to the left. You take your variation. If you need to scale it back a little bit, that's okay. If you want a little bit more, that's okay too. Take a big breath. Right arm can reach up overhead. You can look over that right shoulder. One more big breath here. Uncross the legs, bring it back to center. Knees bent, feet wide, arms out like airplane wings. And just like we did in the beginning, do a few windshield wipers. Just letting the knees fall to one side and then the other. And can you slow down your movements and sync your movements up with your breath? So inhale to the side, exhale, your core draws in and you bring it back to center. Relax your face, your jaw, your neck. And just say, stay interested, stay curious in breath, body, this moment. And then bring your knees back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Bring your head up to kiss your knees so you're rounding into your back and take another breath. And then release your legs, release your head. And we're gonna find our way into Shavasana. Now for Shavasana, we just have a quick Shavasana today. You can keep your knees bent, feet wide, knees fall together, or you can extend the legs straight. So just take a moment to find your position. Arms down by your sides, lengthen the back of the neck. And then close your eyes. This is the part of class where we find stillness. And that stillness, that physical stillness is so important. So make sure you're comfortable, shift and adjust. Relax the shoulders, relax your jaw, close your eyes. Take a big breath down into a soft belly. Let out a long exhale. Just notice this field of sensation. Allowing the body to get soft and heavy. It is in the stillness 
that our bodies can remember. Remember what it feels like to be a little more connected to your core strength, a little more aware, a little more limber, flexible. Notice your breathing. Start to deepen your inhale. And lengthen your exhale. Feel your body lying here on this mat in this room. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. If you extended your legs, go ahead and bend your knees. And roll over onto your favorite side. And take a breath. Hmm. And practice slow transitions as you transition back up into a seated position. I invite you to keep your eyes soft, maybe even keep them, keep them closed and bring a hand to your heart and a hand to your belly. And take a big breath. Feel your body breathing underneath your hands. Allow the corners of your mouth to curl up to your ears. Acknowledge this time that you've taken out of your day for you. Allow yourself to feel appreciation, gratitude, and take a big breath. Every cell in your body lighting up with that gratitude. Savoring the moment. And then circle your arms over your head, bring your palms to touch, your hands come down to your heart. Thank you so much for sharing your time and sharing your practice with me today. And from my heart to yours, namaste.